Hello everybody, how are you? Beautiful Monday morning and I love a Monday. So it is Monday morning in Fredericksburg, Texas and I think it may be Monday morning, at least in the whole United States. There's some places where it's a little behind her head. And uh, I am so happy to be back with you guys. You know how I know when I've been gone too long, when I get in the car in the morning and go to do the drive and my little red and blue car emojis are missing. They're missing because I haven't done the driving enough days. Either that or it means I've been more creative than usual uh, with my emoji, so it's not in my most recent. Anyway, so I had to dig those up, but I am so happy to be back. I had a tremendous aha moment this last week. You know, give credit to Oprah. That's a concept I think she pretty much coined that phrase, and we've all gone by it since. Um, so there are a lot of great things. Always, probably you can stop and think about your life right now, whether it's business, uh, your your work life, your social life, your family life, whatever's going on with you. There are a lot of things going on in your head at any given time. And But if you're like me, there are a lot of big ideas floating around, and i got to figure out how to pull them down. Um, my big issue a lot of times is, hey, guys, uh, I wrote a blog article even once called, you know, we always talk about, can you see the forest for the trees? And I always say, I can't see the trees for the forest because I see the big picture. I see where it's going. I know where it's going to be. And for me, that's in business at the moment, what I'm talking about. I have trouble finding the trees because the forest is so compelling to think about that big picture. But, you know, it's real hard to get a forest without planting and pruning and harvesting trees, right? We've got to look at the very specifics, the strategic parts of our business and the tactical parts of our business, which is usually where I get the deer in the headlights look, right? It's never on the big picture or having the vision or the belief or the faith to do it. It's the strategic tactical part that gets me. So for a long time now, we have thought we should be able to take one example of ours, our Absolute Charm b, &B reservation service and grow it beyond just Fredericksburg. We think there would be huge benefits, <clears throat> not only to our company, but to all of our homeowners who would now get exposure from people who maybe didn't have Fredericksburg on the radar, but let's say we put, had some other, I don't wanna name them yet, but some other resort towns mixed in on the site. Now people going to those places would say, what's this Fredericksburg about? What's this, um, you know, what's this wine country thing about? I wanna learn more about Fredericksburg. So, hey Stacy, how are you, hey Anna? Um, so that's always been our concept is we know that that will bring benefit to our town in general, to our b, &B owners most importantly, um, and then to the company as a whole. But our thing has always been, well, we know we can do that. We spent tens of thousands of dollars last year rebuilding our b, &B site, which those of you who haven't ever checked it out, it's AbsoluteCharm.com. No words of real estate, that's our other company. AbsoluteCharm.com, the original since 2007, is our site for our BNB and vacation rentals. So we wanted to take that on a broader scale for a while, but it was always, how? What do we do? Do you fly to a, a Jackson Hole type town and walk around knocking doors? Do you try to go to Chamber of Commerce? How do you do that on a grand scale has been our issue, right? So the answer has come to me. It has finally come to me. It's taken embarrassingly long, I would say, but it has come to me. I got to coffee first. A large black coffee, please. All righty. So, at the same time, you guys, a lot of you probably know, we're expanding our real estate business and partnering with realtors around the country who want to do something different and who want to work with us. We have many friends who uh, are part of other groups, other brokerages, and they're happy. And let me just say on the record for once and for all, if you're happy, I couldn't be happier for you. But there are always people looking to build and grow something different, something more so I'm not out there to be for everybody, right? I'm, I'm out there to be for the people who are looking for me and are looking for what I bring to the real estate sphere. And those people are, are out there. So this EXP basically has given us the ability to take and grow um, real estate and add agents in other places, vacation rental markets which we never had before. I was like, man, do I have to go get a license in all these states and then get some agents? And then will those agents want to do vacation rentals? So basically the overall gist is we are going to roll out a list of, I know Diet Coke, I know I'm being better at Anna. I'm really working at it. Um, so yeah, the goal is to grow by, by leveraging our real estate ambassador partners. 
So here's what I'm looking for. I am going to target 21 cities. They'll be announced soon. Feel free to give your opinions on what they should be. I'm doing my research now. Um, 21 cities that we're going to expand into. And thank you. And we're choosing these top cities we want to expand our real estate business into. Oh, it's exciting, Coco, I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. By choosing where we find, and we want to find real estate partners to help us grow. So we need realtors who want to do something different and something bigger, who want to join with us. That you can still keep your own branding or you can use ours. That's going to be completely up to you. But we're going to grow the vacation rental side. We're going to teach you how to sell and list vacation rentals and we're going to teach you as well how to help us grow a reservation service um, because when you have a reservation service you have for realtors another stream of income for those reservation uh, those rental uh, vacation rental owners we believe we can bring a better product a better website a better booking engine yeah we do have a lot of vacation rentals here uh, the range is anywhere from 600 to 1200 it, nobody can agree so <laughs> I, I mean I've looked at different kinds of research and nobody knows so in any event um, let's just pick Timbuktu okay so we're gonna go to Timbuktu now and so let's say that that's a great destination town for us there are realtors right now in Timbuktu who have those relationships with people they have a that's me thank you they they have a sphere of influence they know I don't need to go knock doors and find people that own vacation rentals these realtors these agents who we want to partner with know them so we're going to help you build a referral source for just finding us those properties we're going to do the heavy lifting we again invested tens of thousands in extremely robust software that would hold nine ten twenty thousand vacation rentals around the country it we 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 built it to be able to do that we spent the money so that it could do that we no longer want it to be limited to being able to do just a couple of hundred of things so that's what we're looking for but how obvious is that when you start to look at it but I'm seeing the forest I'm not seeing the trees so I go to lunch with Lauren Taylor and Mary Maloney two super smart uh, girl boss women who are just incredible uh, agents leaders uh, and have been for a long time in the real estate community and who are also my uh, EXP partners up there and boy I mean they just cut through it in a heartbeat just over brunch and they're like well you need to pick 21 cities and these are going to be the top 21 that you're targeting and you're actively going after these 21 cities and I'm going to be going after one person one realtor in each of these towns who wants to work with us they're going to get the benefit of both sides they're going to get the benefit of working with us on the B&B &B reservation side and that's going to be a whole new revenue stream for these agents who have just depended on buying and selling houses and they're going to get to work with us on the uh, of course the normal real estate side and in addition to your normal business we're going to teach you how to buy and sell uh, vacation rentals I did some numbers before I left for my conference and get this this is insane last year in 2018 we had closed and pended um, and I say pended because one that was supposed to close in 2018 pushed just into uh, 2019 closed and pended 88 million dollars in uh, in gross sales that was that was the amount of volume that we sold 88 million dollars of that I forget the exact number 41 million or 41 percent off look at the exact was vacation rental and when you looked at Wes and my production personally it was 73 and a half percent was vacation rental so we know what we're talking about we know what we're talking about here we know how to sell them we know how to calculate cap rates gross revenue multipliers go gross income multipliers um, we know how to market vacation rentals Airbnbs if you'd call them so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna take this on a big scale and we're gonna leverage it through Realtors again the ability to know how to book B&Bs has been there you know what this is another thing I don't even bring up I need to pull up the number and look at it y'all won't believe this I look at sometimes places that have thousands of rooms in almost all 50 states and I look at their Facebook page and they got 15,000 fans not bad I look at our absolute charm B&B's last time I looked we had about 33,000 fans over there way more important than that way more important than the fact that we have uh, 33,000 fans on our real estate uh, our absolute charm B&B &B page is that they're engaged we've got some that have had 3,000 comments and 1,500 I think it is shares crazy engagement over there so they aren't just the usual posts with two likes so we know we have this B, B business that we're going to expand and we've always wondered how do we expand it we're going to expand it with our 
real estate partners. So what I need you guys to do is not only recommend towns to be on my list of top 21, which I'll be sharing soon, maybe even later today. I think I've got the data out so we can have a good lively debate if I chose the best 21. But I want realtors in each of those locations. One realtor. Um, you can be an individual, you can be a team, but I'm only going to work with one partner in that that's going to be our absolute charm ambassador and we're going to grow this program through that so i'm so excited about that so that was my aha moment so how do you you know with the teaser line on this i put in how do you find your aha moment it's by aligning yourselves which supplement your skill set again i am a very big picture person so i need to align myself with people who think very strategically i need to align myself with those who are tactical and sometimes just align myself with someone who's not me, someone who's on the other side of the fence looking in going, oh, well, it's obvious. Here's what you need to do because it all becomes real obvious when you're not in too tight in the middle of it, right? So we've been so tight in the middle of our quandary of how to grow our rental service outside of our area that we couldn't see the trees for seeing the forest. So that's my best recommendation to you. Get outside your industry, get outside of your group that you're always with and ask someone, and who maybe is strategic business wise to look at your business and say what obvious thing am I missing what am I overlooking and that one lunch as much as I learned this last week at social media marketing world honey badger mastermind I had five days of crazy content two different events in a, in a five-day period and probably the most useful one thing I got was at that brunch with Mary Maloney and Lauren Taylor when they both easily looked at it and said oh well you need to pick 21 cities and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go there I was like you guys are brilliant you're the best you're tr strategic you cut through the layers of generality which can be uh, can be a problem what do we always say on here life rewards the specific ask and punishes the vague wish so we don't want a vague wish. This is no vague wish that we are going to be taking Absolute Charm b, b vacation rentals to 21 new locations. This is a specific ask. We're not just hoping to expand. We're going to 21 towns. You guys be thinking, what realtor do you know in, in a resort community who might be open to doing something different, something bigger, creating a whole new revenue stream from what they've had in the past? That's who we're looking for. Love y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. I missed you last week, and we're going to have a great week. Let me know what you got going this week, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye.